purpose is activities on defending the victim of religious fundamentalism. Women are the foremost victim of this ideology. Therefore, it's not surprising if we are deeply concerned by women's suppression in Iran, which had in recent month entered a new phase. The High Commissioner referred to post-election human rights violations in his report. Excuse me, there is a point of order. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Iran. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, following our previous point of order last week concerning the abuse of the NGO's position as a platform by elements of a terrorist group or cult to address the Human Rights Council in clear violations of the pertinent rules of procedure and in particular the content of ECOSOC Resolution 1996-31 and with due regard to the note verbals we have already submitted to the Secretariat to thoroughly investigate this particular concern my delegation would like to request you to prevent the speaker from continuing her statement at this juncture. I thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this is an this important issue uh, was already raised in this chamber a few days ago, and uh, there is a proper procedure which has to be followed uh, when uh, such uh, circumstances arise. Firstly, the Secretariat has to check whether the concerned individual has been duly registered by an ECOSOC status NGO. And I'm reassured that this was done and carefully checked by the Secretariat. Secondly, given the information provided by the delegation of the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Secretariat must alert the office of the DG who is the designated UN senior office has not concluded that there is a security hazard which would need to be addressed at this stage. Should further elements be brought to our attention, uh, we would take appropriate action. And thirdly, as per, this, as per the status of the NGO in question, I invite those concerned to raise such matters with the only competent body, namely the NGO committee of the ECOSOC. With this, Madam, I give you back the floor. Point of order. Point order again. Iran, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for your explanations in this regard. But as I stated before, uh, there are numerous uh, pertinent documents uh, substantiating the terrorist nature of this group uh, and its members as well, which we have submitted just a small part of those documents to the Secretariat recently to be investigated thoroughly in due course. Since we, did, we didn't receive any written response in this regard, therefore, once again, I request you, Mr. President, at least suspend addressing the Council by this speaker till this investigation is completed. I thank you, Mr. President. I take note of your comments, and the Secretariat will be in contact with you later on. And with this, I give the floor back to you, Madam. Women and youth have been present uh, at the forefront of the extensive protest of the people, which is still continue despite severe su uh, suppression and massive arrest. In one horrible case, a young woman, Tarane Musabi, was arrested on June 20th during the street protest, and two weeks later, her burned corpse was found in the wastelands of the western Tehran after she had been raped. There have been many such a crime committed against women by paramilitary armed forces without any kind of accountability and without receiving punishment. Mr. President, under the present circumstances, suppression of the opposition groups is not limited to within the Iranian borders. In, in, the, in that respect, I would like to draw your attention to the situation of 3,400 Iranians, including 1,000 women, 
who reside in Camp Ashraf, Iraq, and need urgent attention and measures by the High Commissioner. Since 56 days ago, 36 of them have been arbitrarily arrested in Iraq and have been held unlawfully in the detention despite two consecutive verdict by two Iraqi judge to release them. Therefore, your associ our association is seeking the immediate release of these 36 people who have been on hunger strike for the past 55 days in protest to their arbitrary arrest and their health state is rapidly deteriorating. We also urge the High Commissioner to act towards a permanent UN monitoring presence in Ashraf in conjunction with UNAMI in order to guarantee the security and protection of the residents of Ashraf. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I give now the floor to Nasser 21. Thank you, Mr. President. Excuse me. Point of order. The distinguished representative of Iran, please. We have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, uh, for taking the floor again. Uh, I just, for the record, I wanted to reiterate that uh, 